Welcome back to Handmade. So if you need to de-stress and like, yes, don't we all? A great way to do that is by doing a little painting. And if you're missing the beach, today we're gonna be doing this beach painting that is bringing the beach to us. It's this semi-abstract overhead view Trust me, it is super easy. I've never been a great painter, so if I can do this, anyone can do this. So, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is get our paint ready. You'll need a light blue paint and teal paint for the water. And then for the sand, I'm mixing a tan yellow and white to get a light tan color. And then I'm also mixing a bit of that with more white to get a lighter tan color. And then you'll want some plain white paint as well. Now use a one inch paintbrush to add your light blue color to the top two thirds thirds of the canvas. Use long horizontal strokes to cover it and make sure to also paint the edges of the canvas. Now using the same brush and while it's still wet, grab a bit of teal and blend that into the blue by using more long horizontal strokes. Also, while I'm doing that, I just wanna clarify really quick that you don't necessarily need a fancy new canvas. The one that I'm using is an old painting that I painted over before I started, and this design works with any size or shape canvas you have. You could even do this on poster board or any other sturdy paper that you already have. Okay, so back to the painting. Once you're happy with the water, Put some of the lighter tan color on a second brush and cover the bottom third of the canvas the same way. Then grab a little bit of the darker tan color and blend that in just to give it some dimension so it's not all one solid color. Next, grab some white paint on a third brush and use that to blend the two colors together. You can go back and forth with all three brushes to add more paint where needed and just get everything blended nicely. So once you're happy with that, let it dry for 10 or 15 minutes and cover your palette with plastic wrap since we're going to be using the same colors in the next step. So 15 minutes later, Grab some small bristle paintbrushes, which have a rough texture. You're going to grab a little bit of white paint on the end of the brush and then press it into the canvas using an up and down motion. This will give us a texture that's like ocean waves. You can also use the same technique to add some teal paint right under the white to give it some dimension and again, just blend them together until you're happy with how it looks. So it's really up to you how many waves you want to add. You can make them a little more subtle by blending the paint with a soft paintbrush and then adding a little bit of the texture back in with the rough brush. And you can also use the same technique with the darker tan color to give the sand a little more texture. So just keep at it until you like how it looks. There's no right or wrong answer here, but this is how mine turned out. So now you'll want to put that down and let it dry completely. Okay, so now that it's dry, grab a cutting mat, a ruler, a pencil, a craft knife, and a small piece of cardstock. We're going to make a pattern for the umbrellas, so use your pencil and your ruler to draw a half inch line and then three other half inch lines that all intersect evenly. Connect the ends to make an octagon and cut it out. You can trim some of the extra paper and you're going to want to make one of these for each different color umbrella you're going to paint. So now prepare more paint in the colors of your umbrellas and grab a super teeny tiny paintbrush the smallest paintbrush you have. Place the pattern down onto the sand and hold it in place while you paint a U shape between each corner. Carefully pick up the pattern and then fill in that shape with more paint. And then go over each of the edges 
making the curves a little more shallow and pulling out all of the points. Basically, we want this to look like the top of a large beach umbrella. So you're just going to repeat all of those steps to make as many umbrellas as you want to add. So once you're finished painting all of your umbrellas, Go back to the first one you painted, because that one will probably be dry by now. You'll want to use a second color to draw lines between each of the different points, and then you'll fill in every other section to really make it look like an umbrella. So once again, let that dry. And then if you overshot it a little bit with the second color, you can go back in with the first color to touch up the edges. And that's it. Look how cute this turned out. It was so easy to do. Just like with any painting, you can customize this however you want. You can add a little more detail, maybe some beach towels or some people in the water. This is your artwork, so you do you. You can Google overhead beach photography if you want to get even more inspiration. And then once you're done, you can put it on display and bring the beach inside. So I hope we all get to go to the beach very soon, but in the meantime, this is a great project to bring the beach to you. You could even do a virtual paint night with all of your friends and all do the painting together over video chat. That would be so fun. So make sure that you show us what you make by tagging at HGTV Handmade on Instagram. And of course, subscribe to us right here for new DIY videos every single week. So stay crafty and I'll see you all next time.